Hi guys, Chet here. Today I'm going to compare Miro and Mural, two of the most popular digital whiteboard platforms used by teams around the world. I will walk you through their key features, their user experience, integrations, pricing, and more. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear idea of which one might work better for your team's collaboration needs. And after watching this video, if you decide to go with Miro, check out that link that I've added down there in the description. If you use that link, you'll get access to a premium course and some great Notion templates all for free, but you gotta go through my link. Now let's get started. First off, let's break down what each platform is all about. Miro is a versatile online whiteboard that gives teams a huge infinite canvas where they can brainstorm, plan projects, map out ideas, and run workshops in real time. It is widely loved by design teams, product managers, and educators for its flexibility and the sheer number of templates and integrations available. Now, on the other hand though, Mural also focuses on visual collaboration, but leans more into structured templates and facilitation features, making it great for teams that run design sprints, agile ceremonies, and collaborative workshops that need a bit more guided flow. Now, when it comes to features, Miro offers a massive template library, sticky notes, drawing tools, wireframing kits, and the ability to embed videos, PDFs, and external media right on board. Plus, Miro includes advanced diagramming, voting, and timer features to make workshops more interactive. Mural similarly provides an excellent set of visual tools, but puts extra focus on facilitation with features like private mode for brainstorming, timers, voting sessions, and robust workshop templates. One standout with Mural is how it helps guide group sessions with frameworks built specifically for activities like retrospectives, empathy mapping, and lean coffee sessions. Next up, let's look at the user experience. Miro's interface is smooth, intuitive, and designed to feel like you're working on a limitless whiteboard. It's easy to pick up and the real-time collaboration tools make it super engaging for teams, whether they're co-located or remote. Mural, meanwhile, has a slightly more structured interface, which can be an advantage if your team needs a bit more organization during sessions. It's designed to guide teams through collaborative activities step-by-step, step, which some users find really helpful, especially when running larger workshops. When it comes to integrations, Miro works with a wide range of tools and connects to Slack, Jira, Confluence, Microsoft Teams, and Google Drive. This makes it really popular with tech and product teams. Miro also connects to tools like Microsoft Teams, Jira, and Slack. It's especially good for teams running design sprints or agile workflows since it works so well with tools for structured sessions. Now let's look at pricing. Mural has a free plan that costs $0. The Team Plus plan is $9.99 per member each month, while the Business plan is $17.99 per member each month. For the Enterprise plan, the pricing is custom. Miro also has a free plan. Now its starter plan is $8 per person each month, and the Business plan costs $16 per person each month. A lot like Mural, the enterprise plan has custom pricing based on what you need. So which one should you choose? Well, if you're looking for a highly flexible, freeform digital whiteboard that's great for creative teams, Miro is a solid pick. But if your team thrives on structured collaboration with built-in facilitation tools and guided templates, Mural might be the better fit. It really just comes down to your team's workflow and what kind of experience you want to create. All right, that's it for this video. If you found it helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.